Tried to put a centering pass out in front. Stoneplum with the save, rebound, and it's in. Nathan Soucy strikes for the Chicago Wolves at the 1547 mark of the first period. On the rebound after Suzuki put it right out in front, and Susis with his sixth goal of the season to make it one to nothing Wolves. This was really all set up by Suzuki putting that out in front. There was a shot that Soderblom blocked initially but couldn't get that rebound. Stelio Mathe comes Brettsini with some speed. Now a shot there, it's loose, rebound, and it's in. Cole Gutman ties it at one. 11.41 to go in the first period. Cole Gutman was waiting right there on the doorstep. Rebound opportunity, he's just able to backhand it in to a wide open net for his 10th goal of the season to tie us at one with 11.41 to go in the first period. Get another look, this was a good sequence set up there by Brett Sini. And there was a rebound, easy goal there for Gutman off of the rebound opportunity. And the Wolves able to win it, quick shot and a score. From right in the slot, the Wolves score off the faceoff win to make it two to one with 8-10 to go in this first period. Josh Melnick scoring the goal, his fifth of the season. And it's two to one Chicago. Right, we could be in for a wild one tonight. Already three combined goals, less than 12 minutes into this one. Not much of a chance there for Soderblom. Just coming from close range there in the slot. Couple of bodies out in front there, screening Soderblom as well. Goal for Robinson, back for Reichel, tic-tac-toe, they score. Or check, that was Sini who scored there for the Ice Hogs. And uh, boy, just 20 seconds later, Brett Sini responding to make it two to two. Wow. We could see a high scoring one tonight. This was just beautiful passing from the Ice Hogs. Sini to Robinson, back to Sini, and it's two to two. So Brett Sini scores his 13th goal of the season. On the right faceoff, down to pass a shot and a goal. Alexander Pashon makes it three to two Wolves. Scoring from that left side. Ashon makes it three to two at the 13.45 mark of the third period. Rather with 13.45 remaining in the third period, Pashon just had an open net. Soderblom was facing the other way, had to try to get to the other post. Not nearly enough time. 